Jalalabad, Afghanistan, August 11, 2016, day 5, Pogman. Okay, Jason, can you tell me where you are now? Yeah, I'm here at Tak Zafar. It's this monument that they built in 1919 when Afghanistan became an independent country from the British. It's pretty nice here. They're doing some renovations on it. And it's kind of like a park in between two roads. And they try to maintain and upkeep it with some benches on either side. We got here really early, so right now it's 6.08 a.m. But the weather is perfect and the air is clean. <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> yeah. We will be going like uh, two kilometers away from here yeah. to have our breakfast and then we will head back to the airport. Alright, sounds yeah. good. Thank you. <laughs> we went to visit the countryside west of Kabul where they had restaurants with outdoor cabanas. Pagman was considered Kabul's cottage country. This was the Karga Reservoir created by a dam in 1933. Wow, guess what I found? The cannabis plant growing in the wild. From folklore, Baba Ku introduced hashish to Afghanistan. Pogmon area was known for its greener areas. Karga Reservoir also had a fish hatchery. In the 1950s, the area was developed for recreation and now was a popular picnic location among the locals. It was only a 20 minute drive west of Kabul. This area also had an amusement park with rides, but it was way too early for any action to be seen. We stopped to have breakfast at one of the restaurants. I enjoyed my time in this peaceful setting. Returning back to Kabul, I needed to catch a bus to Jalalabad. Along the way, we saw an armed security pickup pass by. I arrived to Jalalabad and searched for a tuk-tuk to get to a fish restaurant where Shirsha would meet me. We crossed this bridge that went across the Kabul River. We would pass cars and then barely miss the oncoming traffic. Oops, another traffic jam. Finally, we got on a straightway where we could gain speed. I made it to Jalalibad, Afghanistan. It was a three-hour ride by uh, bus. My name is Jason. Your name? Shirsha. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, how do you know Abdul? Yeah, he's my friend. Ah, your yeah. friend. Yeah. And you're from the same what? The tribe. Yeah. Ah, same, same tribe. <laughs> how many years have you lived in Jalalibad? I born here. Were you born here? Yeah. <laughs> wow, so. I studied in Kabul. Ah, okay. And I went to India for study from there to London. How many people live in Jalalabad? Around um, 2 million. 2 million? Yeah. Well, that's a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> Small city, but many people, yeah. Where are we going right now? We will find a restaurant to, yeah. Um, yeah, for rice. Because in our restaurant, there is just meat. You don't, <laughs> you vegetarian. Okay, so it's okay to drive opposite direction in yeah. the traffic? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting for me. Yeah. Because way is short. Ah, short. Yeah. We always want to take a shortcut. There's a lot of sugarcane juice machines. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the pizza restaurant we go to is called Green Hut. Yeah. It's like Pizza Hut. Yeah. <laughs> I was just wondering about Jalalabad. Has it ever been bombed, or it's always been safe? Yeah, it's safe, but really? <laughs> we can't guarantee our life. <laughs> it's uh, but there's never been any war here, or yeah, sometimes. Sometimes there's war yeah, in the outside. Outside of uh, city. So we finally made it to this uh, place called Green Hut Pizza. I ordered some fried rice and a lemon drink. Shirsha and we're gonna have some lunch here now. What do you think about my travels so far? You are a brave man. <laughs> Just people from there from Afghanistan. Oh really? Yeah. Even you as a local, you're afraid to go around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. go anywhere. Uh, who do you want to win? Trump or Clinton? <laughs> <laughs> I like Trump. Really? Yeah, because he's against Pakistan. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's the reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've been studying the situation? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> How about you? I like Trump for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> All right, let's see. After lunch, we went out to explore more of the city. So here in Jalalabad, the elevation is 2,500, so a lot lower than Kabul, which is 6,500. Azatullah was a great driver as he drove through the streets of Jalalabad. We drove to visit the tomb for King Amanullah. Yeah, you're the youngest. Me? Yeah. Really? Yeah, you're 32, I'm 33, yeah. and you're 34. Yeah. I'm the youngest? <laughs> yeah. But I look like older. Oh yeah, because you have a beard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the grave of uh, this person, King Amanullah. The park is in here? It's called Amir Shahi Garden. Mm, okay. So we might go see a mosque, huh? Yeah, it's in 
Here is the grave of King Amanullah. Hey, I wonder if I can go inside the mosque. So yeah, 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 you can do because Obama can go everywhere and enter the mosque. Ah, I mean you are allowed to. Yeah, okay, so if my president goes, yeah. I can go. Yeah. <laughs> we arrived to King Amanullah's shrine. He was a general from age 27 to 34, then reigned as a king for three years until age 37 when he fled to India during the Afghan Civil War. After India, he got exiled to Switzerland, where he lived until the age of 68. It's King Amanullah. And this is his father. I think that is his brother. Which place? Nuristan. Ah, right. so I can find people that look just like me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to go visit Nuristan next. <laughs> If you wear a pakul, yeah. people will think you are from Nuristan. <laughs> ah, okay. Next, we went to visit a park and the amusement park. So what's the name of this park? It's Sarajul Imarat. In addition to roses, this park also had sunflowers on display. On a Thursday afternoon, this amusement park was dead, but it wasn't closed. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I decided to go on the ferris wheel, and since I was the only customer, they stopped the ferris wheel when I reached the top. It's a really small one too, but you can see it from right here. They didn't want to join me because I'm not into this. You can do all sorts of fun activities here. They stopped me at the top so I can get a good view of the surrounding area. From the top, I felt safe looking down at the traffic below. The Afghan flag is the only flag in the world that has the symbol of the flag on its flag. Never did I think that I would be going to amusement parks in Afghanistan, but here I was in Jalalabad, enjoying the day. The local billboards looked like this. This one remembered Ahmed Wali Karzai who passed away in a suicide bomb attack in Kandahar. I noticed the people in Afghanistan liked their flag, like this guy who had it stuck in the back of his car. I think I'm gonna alert them that I'm ready to go down. I'm at the very top of this ferris wheel. It's almost 100 degrees actually here. It's pretty hot, Fahrenheit. Yeah, but it's still good. I'm going to visit my first city in Afghanistan, which I'm really happy about. I love visiting amusement parks here. I was going to start the ferris wheel so I could come back. He was wondering where I was from, so we just told him I'm from Nuristan. Nuristan is an area in Afghanistan where they look like me, exactly. They have white skin, brown hair, and different color eyes, like blue or green. Here we go. This is the Ferris wheel. It's what you do for fun in Afghanistan when you're at an amusement park. Alrighty, that was a fun <laughs> Ferris wheel ride. <laughs> I like to go on Ferris wheel rides around the world. Yeah. But the largest one they have now is the London Eye. London Eye? Yeah, and then there's a new one in Las Vegas too. Las Vegas? Yeah. How about Singapore? There is another one. Ah, Singapore, Singapore also. Yeah. yeah. There's also one in Baghdad. Baghdad? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's new. <laughs> they tried to copy London. <laughs> so here we have a zip line. You walk all the way to the top and then catch a zip, which takes you all the way down to the bottom. Down this way. So when does this park open? What time does the people come? After sunset. So it's going to be very busy tonight. Yeah. Thursday, it's a weekend. Hey, look how tall those ice creams are. <laughs> <laughs> then I spotted my first military drone. I just see a military drone right there. It's a military drone flying over Jalalabad. It's a military drone? Yeah, it's a military drone. Which country? They kill Taliban and come back to... Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the US? Yeah, US. Oh, I had to come all the way to Afghanistan to see my first drone. <laughs> I was surprised to find a replica of the U.S. Capitol from Washington, D.C. in Jalalabad. Arriving to the White House Hotel and Restaurant, we encountered armed security before entering their grounds. So now we came to this White House, the White House Hotel and Restaurant. You can stay here and also eat here at the cafe. They have nice green grass and a place to sit down and enjoy the environment. A local businessman thought of the concept to create the White House Hotel and Restaurant, which was popular among the locals. All right, we made it to the White House. I never knew this was here. When did they build it? Uh, I think two years ago. Uh, how did you hear about it? Yeah, we live here, near. Oh, you live yeah, nearby? Yeah, yeah. Did you see them building it? Uh, no, at that time I was in London. I learned that the Taliban threatened the owner, asking him why he built a White House in Jalalabad. Taliban? Threat him? Yeah. Why you built a White House here in Jalalabad? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we left the high security hotel and searched for a restaurant in the city center. 
Here was another poster of King Amanullah beside the road. The tuk-tuks were everywhere and the streets were busy. Pedestrians weren't afraid of traffic. They just walked right up in front of us. Next, we would drive by the US airbase. We found the shop that sold local hats, including the pakul. So I bought one, so I could blend in. So the road is under construction, but they go both ways. You just choose the road you want to drive on, yeah? You continue. Cousin of Trump. Trump. <laughs> so if I get in trouble, just tell them I'm cousin of Trump? Yeah, yeah, tell them. <laughs> I will not arrest you. Yeah. <laughs> This Shiryak restaurant sold their ice cream in a unique way. This was their huge block of ice that they used to cool the sides of the ice cream maker. Thanks to Shirsha, we found this authentic Afghan Shiryak ice cream shop. They served ice cream in the most unusual way. It was like an upside down ice cream cone with no cone. The restaurant was really colorful and every table had a container of free water in case you were thirsty after the meal. What great service. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for day 6 when I return to Kabul to catch my flight to Herat on Ariana Afghan Airlines to have dinner with a local from Herat.